Not bad. I like it. I like it. How's it going, everybody? My name is Liam. Hi, Mama. And uh, today we're doing some more camping. We got some tents behind us and uh, pretty stoked. We're at a really small provincial park up north. Uh, it's called Mara Provincial Park for anybody that's curious. And it's just a little tiny little low-key park. It's got a really, really nice beach that we're gonna go and see a little bit later. And uh, we're just kind of here to relax. There's, there's no hiking here. It's more of just a relaxation trail or a relaxation campsite. Just gonna, you know, a little, little break from everything and we're just gonna enjoy ourselves. Got my little sister here. This is my first time taking her camping this year. I'm also here with my dad. He's just over doing his own thing. And um, yeah, we're just gonna hang out. It's gonna be a lot of fun here. Let me give you guys a quick campsite tour. All right, so here's the site. Here's home for the next day. We got two tents here, tent right there, my dad's sleeping in, and then right over there is my tent, and then me and my sister Emma are sleeping in there. Over here, got our chairs, and then it's kind of cool backing on us um, for this. We got lots of openness over there. There's a creek, so there's a creek right over there, and it's very swampy, so um, we've managed to dial down the mosquitoes, but when we first got here, it was bad. So you can see it's very swampy where we are right now. But I still like it. It's cool. Of you know, I'm never camping in a swamp now. That's that's the new deal. Last time I was camping on a beach. Now I'm camping in a swamp. Got one hiking trail in this park. I didn't really know about. But it's only like 500 meters long. So not much of a trail, but you know, it's a little path that takes you through the swamps. We made it to the little creek here. Beautiful. Jeez. How much would somebody have to pay you for you to go swim in this? <laughs> How much? Um, a billion dollars. That's quite a bit. You don't like the bugs? Bugs are pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, mosquitoes are attacking. Fresh bite right there. Uh, I'm gonna have to throw some more repellent on when I'm back at the truck. It's not looking good. It's that time of year, mosquitoes are everywhere. You can't go anywhere without seeing them. So yeah, you gotta really coat yourself up in that, that spray and uh, then you're all right, they'll leave you alone. But if you don't do anything about it, you're in for a treat, not a good one. Oh, hi. This park also has a beach, which is where we're currently headed to. It's man-made, but you know what? It's still all right. Right on the big Lake Simcoe, one of the bigger lakes around here. I'm gonna take a dip in the water. I got my bathing suit on. You can see how it feels. So I've given the water a little feel, as you can see. At first, I was like, oh my God, this is too cold. I'm getting used to it now. The water is actually really clear. It's called Lake Simcoe. You can see there's some nice little hills behind me. There's a little small mountain range up there. Um, form, it's actually, fun fact about that back there, uh, northern central to like northern Ontario. It's one of the oldest mountain ranges in the world. You wouldn't think, it, you wouldn't think so because there's, there's nothing there hardly, but um, it actually used to be the tallest and oldest mountain range at one point in Earth's history, which is pretty interesting. Found that out a couple weeks ago. It blew my mind actually. Look at like the super subtle waves. Just see them kind of waving along like right there. That's kind of sick. Not a bad beach right here, hey? Got the cool different color sand. And then we got a nice little view right here surrounded by Two pretty beautiful trees. It's not too shabby. Not bad at all. It's kind of funny. You got the provincial park right here and right over there, cottages. They don't, around here, they will put a cottage anywhere. 
Not bad. I like it. I like it. I'm digging it. Yeah, it's pretty relaxing here. Can't get over the cool mountain range in the back. Unfortunately, due to all the Canadian forest fires, which I'm sure a lot of you know about, um, everything around here has just been totally smogged up. Yesterday, it was actually the worst I've ever seen it. It's cleared up a little today. So I'm sure on a normal day, you can see those mountains really nice. But today, they're just kind of a little piece of broad distance, unfortunately. But yeah, still beautiful to get to see it. Can't complain, huh? And uh, yeah, Em and I are just enjoying it. It's great here. What you got there? I got a, it's a it's crayfish. It's called a crayfish. Mm. <laughs> oh, look at that. Unfortunately, the birds got to him. Hey, Emma. It's time to play. It's time, Emma. It's time to play. It's time. They're so small. Oh, we got a duck here with some babies. Well, wait, that one, that one looks like a baby, too. You're a baby. <laughs> it's a beautiful night tonight. So I just uh, sitting here overlooking the beautiful water. A couple cool bird sightings as you just saw. And um, just over at the start of where the creek was that I was at earlier. So, you know, I come down here and uh, Boom. Huge creek in front of me. I think what's really cool is uh, the sand here. And then it just take you down the creek. Got some beautiful blue flowers right here. And uh, we got Emma over here. Just about to leave. It's been amazing just kind of watching this duck family, seeing what they're up to. Uh, the vibes here are amazing. We're gonna get back to the campsite, enjoy the fire for a bit, and uh, we're going to sleep. Campfire is going strong. We're gonna be hitting the hay soon. Uh, it's actually not even dark yet, if you can tell. Beautiful night. Unfortunately, it's going to be storming tonight pretty heavily. So we have to take those precautions. And uh, most likely overnight, I'll probably get awoken by a lot of rain hitting. Hopefully, I don't get awoken to thunder because that'd be pretty startling. So we'll see what happens how I am. Mm -hmm. Right? Whoa, 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 whoa. We got the tent set up right here. This is mine and Emma's and... My dad's sleeping there tonight. Let's uh, let's take a look inside. Hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> uh, I'm in. I'm in. I am. How's it going? All right. Let's get ready to go to sleep. Sleep system, pillow, pad, little blow up mattress. It's beautiful. It's pretty cozy in here. You comfy, Em? Yeah. Yeah, so rain's gonna start in a couple hours. I'll probably wake up when it does. Um, we'll just have to make the best of it. That's what camping is. You never know what you're gonna get yourself into. And I never know what I'm getting myself into. Come on, I get, I get through so many random things when I'm out here. Calling it a night now. I'll talk to you guys. Either in the middle of the night if I get woken up, or in the morning.
fully emptied out. Making our way out now. We're gonna make one last stop at the beach. Campsite was all right. Um, it would have been obviously better if it didn't rain overnight, um, but we made the best of it. Still had a good time. Rain wasn't that bad and it didn't start till about almost five in the morning. So normally it would start earlier and then that's when it's bad. So I woke up when it started, but it was okay. And I was like, this isn't too bad. So yeah, by this campsite. Till next time we get to another campsite. That wraps up our little trip to Mara Provincial Park. Nothing crazy, just enjoyed it here. Nice calm park if you guys are looking for somewhere with a cool beach and some good water, this is the spot to go. If you're looking for somewhere with some good hiking, this is not the place to go. As somebody who likes to hike a lot, um, it was a little disappointing that there was really no hiking. So um, yeah, if you're ever around here, definitely go elsewhere if you wanna do some hiking. Uh, there's a few other provincial parks that are literally like 10 minutes away from here. Uh, I just picked this one because something came up and I had to reschedule another camping that I'm doing next week. So uh, I just booked this one just as a last minute one. And next week, things are going to get crazy. So you guys will see me again at the end of next week. I'm doing something that is not done often and something I've never done before which I'm extremely excited for. I'm not going to talk about it, but that's what you can get. So. Stay tuned for that. Emma's over there having some fun. Just chilling at this creek. Really, really nice. Saw a couple little fish, a couple minnows. So yeah, don't forget to stay in the great outdoors. If you liked what you saw, make sure you subscribe. Leave a like. Every little bit helps us out. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.